Happening today, the USS Hornet Sea, Air and Space Museum in Alameda is celebrating Veterans Day this weekend with a ribbon cutting ceremony, tours, food and a flyover by a memorial squadron. And by the way, admission is free. Joining us now is Vice Admiral Daniel Dwyer. He's an Alameda native and actually served on that very same ship years ago. Good to have you with us, sir. Hey, good morning, Frank. Great to be here with you today. Happy Veterans Day to all of our veterans. And happy Veterans Day to you as well. Well, a homecoming for you. You grew up in Alameda and you served on the Hornet as well. Tell, uh, talk about that if you can. What's it like to be back on board? Uh, it's always great to be back in Alameda, in the Bay Area, and right here on USS Hornet. I remember as a young man growing up here in Alameda and watching the aircraft carriers come and go and the jets fly overhead, and, that, and that's what inspired me to join the Navy and to become a naval aviator myself. So it's great to be back home. Well, your military resume uh, is very impressive, off the charts. Tell our viewers a little bit about yourself and what Veterans Day means to you, sir. Well, thank you very much. I, as I said, I joined the Navy in, uh, in the late 1980s and became a naval aviator because I was inspired by the men and women that I saw serve in our United States Navy. And I went on to a 35-year career flying F-18s from the decks of our nation's aircraft carriers. It's been an incredible career, mainly because of the men and women I get to serve alongside each and every day. And Veterans Day, as you ask, is a day for us to remember the sacrifice and service of so many Americans that have served our United States military. And today there are over 18 million veterans that live among us, about 6% of our population. And, and on this Veterans Day, uh, many people ask me, how do we honor veterans? And, and my answer is simple. Just go up and ask their stories, ask their experiences, how they serve their nation and, and, and why they're proud to be a, a veteran of our great nation. What can uh, visitors expect today, sir? And you, there's a flyover as well. And as a pilot, uh, talk about the great pride that uh, those pilots have when they do a flyover for something like this. Oh, abs absolutely. Well, today on USS Hornet, we're going to have a remembrance ceremony for all the veterans that not only have served aboard USS Hornet, but have served in, in the military from all branches of service. I'll be joined by Congressman Barbara Lee, and, and at the end of the ceremony, we'll do a wreath laying ceremony to, to honor our veterans. And then at the at the following that conclusion of that ceremony, we'll have two F-18s from right here at Naval Air Station Lamore do a commemorative flyover as a sign of respect to the service of the men and women who've served on this great ship. And uh, Vice Admiral, can you describe the Hornet and its enormity? It's nearly 900 feet long and it's got such a rich history, especially with the space program. Absolutely. Uh, the first Hornet, CV-8, uh, was a World War II aircraft carrier. It was lost at the Battle of Guadalcanal in 1942. And the ingenuity and the power of this nation built this carrier just a year later and named it after its namesake as the second USS Hornet. And it went on to have a long and distinguished career in World War II, Korean War, and Vietnam. And as you said, it, uh, it was responsible for the recovery of Apollo 11, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldwin, and Mike Collins, the first to orbit and land on the moon. And this ship recovered them from the South Pacific after their return from their historic mission. So, so much history here on Hornet. And, and I encourage everyone to come down and witness this living history right here in Alameda. I was there about a year ago, and I was shocked at the size of that lunar module. It's, it's not very big. Yeah, imagine spending nearly two weeks uh, with your closest friends uh, on your way to the moon and back. Uh, just incredible bravery by so many men and women to make our space program happen. And, and, and you can see here on Hornet the pride that these volunteers have in keeping that history alive and showing it to the public. And I got to ask you, did you see Top Gun the movie being a Top Gun grad as well? And what did you think? <laughs> I absolutely did, and it just made me proud how they portrayed the men and women in our Navy and, and that anyone uh, can serve this great nation in the military and go on to have experiences like you witnessed in Top Gun Maverick and, and many other uh, movies and documentaries that are out there about military service. So I was just really proud to sit in the theater and, and watch them portray the men and women that serve in our United States Navy. Yeah, I agree. It was a great movie, uh, and thank you for your service, uh, Vice Admiral. Uh, Daniel Dwyer from Alameda, welcome home. And uh, we wish you all the best on this Veterans Day, and thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, Frank. Happy Veterans Day to all our veterans. Thank you, sir. All right, let's take.